welcome to another session of Mommy Teo Teaches Math. Our topic for today is illustrating the different forms of conditional propositions. Conditional propositions are statements that use the if and the then. So these are the if and then statements. Remember that the if part is the premise part and then the then part is the conclusion part. These are now the forms of these conditional propositions. The first one is converse. How are we going to get the converse statement of this original conditional proposition? You just interchange the condition and consequence of the original conditional proposition. Interchange, remember that. And then for the inverse, negate both the condition and consequence of the original conditional proposition. Take note, negate both the condition and consequence of the original conditional proposition and then contrapositive negate both the condition and the consequence of the converse proposition so always remember this definition the first one interchange the condition and the consequence meaning interchange the if and the then part and then the inverse you just negate the original Okay, negate the if and the then part. And then for the contrapositive, you will just negate the condition and the consequence of the converse proposition. You have to look at the converse and then negate it. Let's give example. Example 1. If I study hard, then I will pass the summative test in general mathematics. This one is the original conditional proposition. To get the converse... According to its definition, you will just interchange the if and the then part. So, if I will be doing it, that will be if I passed the summative test in Gen Math, then I studied hard okay what about the inverse according to the definition you just negate the if and the then part so we will just negate them so if I do not study hard Then, I will not pass the summative test in Gen Math. And then for the contrapositive, you have to negate this time. The converse. So, if I did not pass the summative test S in Gen Math, then I did not study hard example number two if students have financial support then many of them will be able to go to school if many students will be able to go to school then they have financial support. That is the converse of that statement. The inverse will be, will just negate them if students do not have 
financial support then many of them many of them will not be able to go to school to get the contrapositive you just negate this so this is if many students will not be able to go to school then they do not have financial support number three if the air is polluted, then many people will develop respiratory diseases. So again, to get the converse, you just interchange the if-then statement. So that will be if many people will develop respiratory respiratory diseases then the air is polluted the air is polluted okay to get the inverse remember we have to negate the if and the then so that will B, if the air is not polluted, then many people will not develop rest respiratory diseases and for the contrapositive we'll just negate this one the converse if many people will not develop respiratory diseases then the air is not polluted okay so if I will be symbolizing this one let us use this one as P and the then part will be the Q. So this one is our P. And then the then part will be our Q. So meaning to say, this one is the symbol for this. P. If P, then Q. For our converse, that will be Q. If Q, then P. For our inverse, that will be you have to negate the original that will be not this one here not p implies not q and for this one the contrapositive that is not q then not p <laughs>